This is actually a really good tea. It has ginger, turmeric, and some other stuff in it. It's really, it's really, really, really delicious. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Anyways, let's get into this video. I know for a while now I've been telling you guys, um, <clears throat> please ignore my voice. I'm running a fever, but I really want to uh, shoot this video for you guys. Please give a thumbs up for this effort. Anyways, um, I wanted to share with you guys a black-owned makeup brand. Um, and I'm actually going to start a series on that on my channel. Because I have discovered a few good, like really good websites that cater to dark-skinned women. So it came in this really cute gold packaging. Um, it's just like a little mailer thing. Um, and... I was only able to pick up a few items because most of their items are actually sold out. Another thing to take note of makeup brands is that black people actually do buy makeup when you do make things that are suitable for us. So I picked up their cream to powder foundation. This is in the color Chi. Honestly, it was very difficult for me to choose my shade. There is actually so much to choose from. That I really had to guess. I was like, oh my gosh, like, you know. Um, so this is the what the packaging looks like. I also picked up their cream contour in the shade iconic. I really want to open this for you guys. So you can see how extremely dark. I can see a little bit of purple reflex in it. And if you guys know me, then you know that I love contouring with MAC blush in film noir because it has a little bit of a purple undertone and I think that is really beautiful on dark skin when you contour with it rather than a harsh black color so this is in the shade iconic icon and I'm very excited to try this out I mean oh my gosh like the, the excitement is beyond me I will say though even though that the actual packaging is beautiful that when the products came you can tell that they just you know kind of took the pan and just stuck it in there and it looks in this one it looks a little bit messy also picked up their concealer this is in the shade Nairobi and it comes this one is a little different it comes with the same kind of cover um, but the Koi Volca is not written on the package it's just a sticker so I'm sure they just purchased these little containers and it's glass on the back and then you open it and this is what it looks like. Um, I would like to be a shade lighter. Um, but as I told you guys, I had to guess what my shades are. But this is Nairobi. Um, I want to compare it to my favorite um, concealer at the moment. This is the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. Also comes in the same kind of jar. And honestly, looking at it, they are about the same shade. If you guys can see. So, I'm not really mad at it. I have hit serious pan on this. So, if this works out, I would love this to be my kind of like drugstore dupe to this one. Um, these are very, very affordable. I believe this is $10 or $12. And then last but not least, I also picked up their highlighter in the shade Bougie. I mean, look at this, you guys. And their highlighter actually comes with a mirror, which I love. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm going to swatch it a little for you guys. It has a little bit of orange, and it's a much deeper, deeper golden color. And I honestly think this is going to look absolutely beautiful on my skin, but we're going to test it out. Um, and again, this is in the shade Bougie. So I will say that on the website, they also have... Um, powder setting powders they have lipsticks they have powder foundation I think um, but for the lipsticks I just felt that they were a little bit too sheer on the models that I saw and you know I really like a good opaque lipstick and the powders were completely sold out I'm just gonna make this video without it I do want to mention that I am going to be using the um, Ben Nye's powder in the shade Sienna. And, um, I'm sorry if this video is long, but I really want to give you guys an in-depth view of this, you know. So since I don't have any eyes or brow products, I am going to do that off screen. Yes, I'm going to do that off screen. I will film it though, um, just in case you guys do want to see that in another tutorial. I'll be back with my eyes and my eyebrows done and then we'll get into the review.
all right guys and we're back and this is the final look for the eyes wanted to go with a little bit of sultry green um anyways we're gonna get into the review for Voico koi Voca because that's what we're here for i'm gonna take well first i'm gonna actually prime my face i'm gonna use my smashbox finish um photo foundation the oil free one i have been really loving this primer lately so the foundation is in the shade chi and this is what chi looks like it's a very dark color i do think it is a good match but we're gonna see and for this i'm actually going to take my morphe g6 brush it's a very dense kabuki brush it's much much smaller so you have to work in smaller uh, surface areas which is good for me because then I can control where I want it foundation is very thick and this is why I wet my brush so that we can really kind of see how this pans out I'm gonna start on the lower half of my face hmm. what do you guys think I think it's a pretty good match this foundation does have a little bit of red in it but it's not nearly um, as bad honestly actually I would say it's more on the neutral side now I'm just putting my head down to see how much it matches my neck and it's looking really good guys I'm actually happy because I think I chose the right shade bring it a little bit up I don't know how good this is going to be with oil because it does feel oily on my skin. It has really good coverage, you guys. Guys, I'm impressed. I really, really am. Honestly, I'm just apart from the wearability, I don't I don't know how, how long this is gonna wear because honestly it feels feels like my um my hourglass vanish foundation. That's what it feels like and it's giving me that kind of coverage. I'm just gonna bring it down. So that it meshes more seemingly. I'm going to put a little on my chest. You guys know I have a little bit of chest acne. I want to see if it covers that. Because usually that's how I know whether it's full coverage or not. So I would say that this is a medium to full coverage. I don't know what to tell you guys. I really like this foundation. Like, am I tripping? Is it... This is, this is really pretty. This is a really good match for me. I'm going to take my concealer brush from e.l.f. Um, I usually use this for my face, for my um, eyes, but it's a fluffy brush and I've been looking for a brush to put my concealer on with and I think this will work well. So we're going to take Nairobi um, and we're going to see how the color shows up on my skin. I'm really hoping that it's really good. And as you guys see when I was applying the makeup, I tried to avoid close to my under my eye just so that we can give the concealer like a fair shot. And see how that looks. Okay, okay. It's definitely not a brightening concealer. Um even though my <clears throat> NARS Soft Matte is almost the same shade. I feel like that almost gives me more of a brighter color, but I am not mad at this. Um, the coverage, well, you guys know I don't really have any under eye issue, so to me this is fine. I don't know if it will really cover your dark circles or anything if you have that. Um, and this is how I honestly want to start applying concealer because I think... It gives me a little bit more control of where I put the product. A little down my nose. I feel very oily and that's my issue right now. Um, my friend who also bought this product, she's very oily. So I'm wondering if maybe why, that's why she's she was waiting for me to do my review. 
because I do feel quite oily at the moment um, but we will see I haven't set it's definitely this is definitely foundation and concealer that you have to set like you have to set this or it will crease on you but yeah I definitely feel oily so this is what the concealer and the foundation looks like on my skin definitely a flawless coverage but you can tell can you see how oily and shiny my face is that's that's what I'm nervous about because you guys know I perspire right here we will give it a chance um, but I'm gonna set my under eye and I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Benai Sienna And you guys see what I mean by the powder? Sienna is much more orange, and I think it's just better for my skin tone. Okay, guys, so I wanted to come a little closer just so that you guys can see how iconic it's going to look as a contour. It is a cream contour. So I'm going to spray my brush a little bit because... Okay, okay. It's a very subtle um, contour. I don't, I don't really know, guys, if I'm a cream contour kind of person, honestly. Do sheer. I need to let you guys know so that you know whether to get these products or not. Okay, so I went and grabbed my NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Foundation. And this is in the shade Deep Dark. And I'm going to take my fluffy brush. This is the Morphe E1 from well from Morphe and I'm just gonna slightly tap into this powder because you guys know this powder is very red and I'm gonna just set my overall face um, ignoring the places that I put the contour because we're gonna use another color to set and actually while I'm setting I'm gonna wipe away my bake see once I clear that off I don't really feel like very contoured but that's okay it's a cream contour we're gonna set it with blush in noir by MAC and even if it, this is fine anyways because whenever you use a cream contour you always want to set it regardless so I was kind of hoping it was much darker but that's fine we're just gonna take it we'll bring a little bit more dimension back into our face and already I don't know if it's worth that extra step you know what I mean of using the cream and then putting this on top because um, I feel like the cream kind of disappeared. For my blush, I'm gonna take uh, Chivalry from Makeup Geek. I really am loving this blush. I've been reaching for it quite a bit. And I'm gonna take my Real Techniques uh, blush brush and dip into that a few bits. Has a little bit of fallout like usual, so just, you know. I love this kind of like soft peachy pink with this eye color. It's beautiful. Alright guys, I won't lie. After setting everything with powder, um, I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm really feeling this. Now for my, one of my favorite parts of doing makeup, highlighter. And as I stated, we got the shade in Bougie. I'm going to take my Morphe E61 brush. It has like a little pointed tip, if you guys can see that. And we're going to dip into this very slightly. Don't make me nervous. Ooh. Wow. 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 Well, um. Okay, guys. I'm going to go on the other side with the rest because I put entirely way too much on. What a... What? Wow! Okay, we need to figure this side out. But, you guys, can you... Oh, you need, like, the lightest touch. Like, I'm literally, like, tapping into my... How this look down the nose? Wow! <laughs> you guys, oh, I really love this highlighter. I, I... Okay, 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 Koivoka, okay. 
All right, let's set this face. I'm gonna use my Ofra makeup and fix up. Put it on the collarbone. Y'all know I gained a little bit of weight, so I need. I'm lining my lips and in Berry with NYX and I'm gonna go ahead with touch and fill in the rest. I kind of wanted like a brownie, nudie, pinky look, if that even makes sense. Okay, you guys, so let's end this video. I am very impressed with Koi Volca. I will say I don't know how the wear is gonna be, so I might keep this on and I might you know come back and give you guys a little check in towards the end of this uh like right after this i don't know yet i'm not making any promises or i'll put a little note of like how it wore throughout the day but honestly it's definitely a foundation and a concealer that you need to set because once i was putting it on i could feel how oily it was on my skin If you're not used to setting your, you know, concealer in your face, then you're not going to like this pro um, this, this product. I'm not used to setting my face, so having to set my whole entire face was a change for me. But honestly, I'm really loving the way this looks to the point where I actually kind of want to start setting my whole entire face with my NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat. Like, this is just, it's looking like a flawless coverage i don't know if you guys can see that but i'm not mad at it at all i love the highlighter like i just highlighters like this is just made for people like me like people with melanin chocolate skin this orange like highlighter is just beautiful I, I, anyways um the only proud thing that i was disappointed in it's the contour shade in sorry icon um and the reason, I don't know if I just didn't apply it well, but I honestly felt like it really didn't show too much on my skin. And even if it did, once I set my whole entire face, it kind of just disappeared into the, it just disappeared into, you know, space. So I don't know if I'll be reaching for it as much. And it's honestly the product that I was most excited about. I really like this foundation and I love the concealer. I, I I just I love the combination of both so I wasn't disappointed in anything else I am going to try their setting powders um, now it gives me more vim to set it but I really love how it wore with Sienna and let's just talk about Sienna for a moment this is an absolutely great translucent powder for dark skin girls don't worry about that orangey color it just helps keep that chocolateness you know that we have in our skin and yeah, this is a must I am so glad that I purchased the big size of it because I'm literally going to be using this I forgot about all my other ones like <laughs> this is what I'm going to be reaching for going forward I really love this I love this setting powder um, other than that yeah that's my thought on Koi Voca. excuse me I'm gonna link uh, leave a link to their website down below so make sure you check them out um, and after you've seen this you can make a decision for yourself I don't think it's a bad buy at all I think com uh, with everything together I spent about $54 so that was for a foundation, concealer, highlighter, and a contour. So that is a really good deal, in my opinion, and including shipping and taxes. So everything together probably came to like $35, and then including shipping and taxes is what took it over. But overall, I'm quite impressed. I am happy to support a black-owned makeup brand, and for people especially who are paying attention to people like me, and that I do exist in this world. Anyways, thank you guys for putting up with my nasal, nasally sounding voice. And um, thank you for joining. As always, subscription is optional. If you do want to join the fam bam, I would love to have you. So go ahead and at least give this a thumbs up. And leave me a comment down below which one was your favorite so far. And if you think that the finished product is good enough for you guys to go ahead and reach out and purchase some Koi Voca products. It's very drugstore friendly price and so far I mean looking at my face I'm just I'm floored and I'm loving it anyways until next time thank you guys so much and I love you bye